I've been wanting to do a sitcom for a long time, but never have been able to figure it out because I have a very specific idea about what I think life is. And everybody goes, what? <laughs> and I say, no, I'm right about this. A lot of people wake up at three and go, huh? <laughs> um, so, so I have this uh, belief that really what's important is in life is what's inside of us. And I've always been misunderstood as a fat person. I think it's important that we all realize that we're human beings. And that's what this is all about. I still think the most important night, and all the actors do too, is the night that the audience shows up. Because we're nervous and we're frightened and we're thinking, do they, will they laugh? Are they, you know, bust from a prison camp? <laughs> or, you know? We're going to have fun tonight. Don't be afraid to laugh. And if you don't laugh, eventually someone will tap you and you'll be replaced by somebody who does laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for spending your time with us tonight. I'll see you later. Jump! <laughs> I'm the roofer. I'm here to give you an estimate on your roof. Hey, what say we meet downstairs? Okay, jump! Mr. Lundgren. Boy, it's, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, if you're a bat. <laughs> it's dark out. What are you doing here so early? Early? Oh, geez, you're my third appointment already. Yeah. Well, you know, this is the busy season for me here in Duluth, don't you know? So, you know, we get a solid week of rain, and uh, next thing I know, ka I get $10,000. Oh, $10,000. It's the third estimate I've got for $10,000. <laughs> what do you guys have, a newsletter? <laughs> $10,000. I can't afford that. I'm just a therapist at an HMO. I make, uh, well, let me put it in terms you can understand. About three roofs a year. <laughs> okay. Tell you what we're going to do here. Okay, we can work out an easy payment plan. All right. Uh, so you got, uh, let's see, that'd be about uh, two twenty-five a month for uh, 48 months. <laughs> so, uh, you call yourself one of those uh, therapists, huh? But you know, my wife... Uh, She's a little, uh, cuckoo. <laughs> uh, maybe she could, uh, you know, come see you, huh? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Have her give my office a call. Okay. Uh, make an appointment. It's, uh, just $10,000 a session. <laughs> Morning, Lou. Kurt, what are you doing here so early? What is there, a sign out my front yard, free breakfast? <laughs> and you know, Lou, you still haven't fixed that loose board on the porch. I could twist my ankle, and instead of chasing the criminals, I'd have to drop them with my forty-five. Wouldn't that be a shame? What time is it? Huh? It's, uh, 0615. 0615? That's early. I think. <laughs> Take your coat off. Oh, uh, no, 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 I, I can't stay. <laughs> hey, fresh coffee, huh? Oh, hey, and that, that uh, roofer, oh, boy, what's he hitting you up for anyway? Take a guess. Take a wild guess. 2,500. Ha! Hey, would you do it for that? Negatory? $10,000. $10,000 for a roof. Even at two twenty-five dollars a month for 48 months, I cannot swing it. You know what it means, don't you? Yeah. It means uh, I'm finally going to have to get a roommate. Jeez, Lou. Can't picture you with a roommate. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, I can see him now coming in here and touching my stuff. <laughs> I hate when people touch my stuff. Kurt, stop touching that! I don't know, Lou. You never know who you're letting in your house. I mean, they might seem nice, but they all seem nice. Hey, remember Swenson? Oh, real huh? sweet guy. Uh -huh. Always tending the yeah. garden. Yeah, we <laughs> had no idea he was planting his neighbors. <laughs> That's true. 
but God, those were beautiful roses. Mm. <laughs> Jeez, it's hot in here. Well, you got your coat on. <laughs> Kurt, what's bugging you? You wouldn't be here at 0615 unless something was bugging you. Bugging me? Nothing bugs me. I'm a cop. They train us not to be bugged. I mean, what would I have to be bugged about? Nothing. I'm bugged about nothing. Remember who you're talking to. We shared a rug in kindergarten. We used to beat up kids who picked on me. Yeah. Or if I just felt like having someone beat up. <laughs> Let me return the favor. Come on, buddy. What's wrong? Tell me. All right. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's about Sandy and Mason. We... We, we were worried you forgot about dinner tomorrow night. You know, Sandy's going to be cooking up a nice five-pound walleye, and you know how Sandy hates to waste fish. <laughs> well, that's a weight off my mind. <laughs> so we are on for tomorrow, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, you'll get a couple fish bones in the fill, but hey, still good eating. Fine. Don't tell me what's really bothering you. I'll just get it out of you tomorrow. Louie, I told you, there's nothing wrong. Kurt? Yeah. You know, in case you want to work today? <laughs> Mr. Wells, let's see what we have here. Shall we, uh... Mmm, angry outbursts, emotionally abuses others, physically threatens the public. Tell me, how long have you worked for the Department of Motor Vehicles? I broke the record last week. Four months! Now look, my supervisor sent me here. I can't go back to work until you sign off on me. So just... Sign off, and I'll be out of your face! <laughs> See, this is where I wish I were a real doctor. Because then I can give you a big pill. And it would keep you from touching my stuff. <laughs> now sit down. Not the couch, I get that. Well, this is ridiculous. Why should I listen to you? I mean, you're obviously not perfect. Really? I never noticed that about myself. <laughs> oh, you mean because I'm fat? You are? I need glasses. <laughs> I am fat. I like to eat. Especially donuts. <laughs> I saw your eye in the box. <laughs> Don't even think about it. I'm a lot quicker than I look. <laughs> All right, so you eat donuts? I'm mean to people. What's the difference? Well, the difference is, I used to eat 12 a day. Now I'm down to two, which is a bummer. <laughs> Especially when that lady at the donut shop comes up to me and goes, you know, Louie, for a nickel, you can get another hundred. <laughs> but I am working on myself. See... When you look at me, you see a fat person. And when I look at me, I see a person who happens to be fat. Oh. Well, I'm just a person that happens to be me. <laughs> Case closed. I'm out of here. You're just leaving because you're scared. I'm not a scared of anything. Yes, you are. You're scared that if you're nice to somebody, they might not be nice back to you. Well, what if they're not? Well, what if they are? <laughs> What if they even do something nice? Like, um... <sighs> Offer you a donut. Take one. Not that one. <laughs> there you go, see? Now, you go out and be nice to somebody else. Well, I'll see. And I'll see you next Wednesday. I'm not coming back. Oh, I'll put you down for 2.30. I'll be here at 3. <laughs> Helen? I still got it! <laughs> Mr. Wells fell for the day-old donut line. You put the fresh ones back in my office now. <laughs> By the way, Mrs. Johansson called and canceled. She's afraid to come out of the house because she thinks people are after her. And Well, I told her I thought that was probably a wise decision because I heard they are, too. You know, Helen, one of these days I'm going to put a brake on one of those wheels and you'll spin around in circles for days. Yeah? 
Well, if I strapped a donut to your back, you'd be doing the same thing. <laughs> All right, Jake, you hang with me for a while. Let me know if you like any of these prospective roommates, okay. all right? Just give me a signal. Give me a nod or something. Well, okay, how about a better code? How about if I like them, I'll order a Coke? Yeah, that's good, but I tell you what, if you like them and you think I should continue to look around, though, order a Coke with no ice. What if I think they can't make the rent? Should I order a Shasta? <laughs> Here, Louis Lundgren. Louis Lundgren. Louis Lundgren. Ah, over here. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Gretchen Lafayette. Hi. Is the room rented? Am I too late? You are looking for a roommate, aren't you? Or did you already find one? Oh, I bet you found one. Hi. Hi. Can I get you anything? Oh, yes. I would like a half-calf mocha latte with non-fat milk. Well, do you have a few minutes? Because it's going to take me a while to fly to Rome to get that. <laughs> Listen, um, I'm sure you're pressed to make a decision, so I'll just get right to it. I was born in L.A., went to college in Pepperdine, that's in Malibu. I could have gone to a better school, but I didn't want the pressure. It was a big mistake, I know that now, but what good does it do me? Last few years, I worked as an actress. My big claim to fame was that I did one of those Mondstadt 7 commercials. Of course, it's not exactly every actress's dream to be recognized on the street by people, you know, hollering out, How's that yeast infection coming? <laughs> but, hey, what I say is you take what you can get, and that was the last job I had before I packed up everything into a U-Haul and I headed here. <gasps> Did you feel that? Feel what? The ground, did it just shake? You don't have earthquakes in Minnesota, do you? No, you know, but a good part of the population has lost a finger or a toe to frostbite. <laughs> you don't hear about it on the news much, but it does bond us all as a people. <laughs> Coke, please. <laughs> Giant Coke, picture of Coke. <laughs> Introduce me. Uh, Gretchen? Yeah, this is my friend Jake Reinhardt. Ah, doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> I, uh, use this all day long. <laughs> My, my heart's racing. <laughs> uh, anyway, about that roommate thing, I really need a place to stay. I mean, I just got here spur of the moment. I woke up one day and I decided this is the day I'm leaving L.A. I mean, a person can only take so much. I mean, every time it's cloudy, you worry that your house is going to wash away. Every time it's windy, you worry that your house is going to burn to the ground. Every time the ground shakes, you think your house is going to crush you. And on top of all that, the ozone layer, specifically over my block, is gone. Wow. Tuna melts are only a dollar fifty here? So anyway, I said to myself that if I've had it, I am moving to safer ground. That night, I went to dinner at the California Pizza Kitchen, and one of the waiters there had this really healthy glow, and on his name tag it said he was from Minnesota. The next day, I'm driving down Santa Monica Boulevard, and I see this billboard, and it says Duluth. Think about it. Bing dong! <laughs> I mean, I'm not an idiot. That's like a cosmic sign. So I checked it out, and I found out that people here live an average of 1.3 years longer than anywhere else, so I figured if I don't like it after 1.3 years, I can leave, and I haven't lost anything. Sorry if uh, I seem a little tense, but I quit smoking in Denver. <laughs> So, Gretchen, uh, tell me a little about yourself. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to know more about you. I understand that you're a therapist, and that is such a coincidence, because my parents are crazy. <laughs> Thank God I got out of the house in time. My whole family is nuts. I'm the only sane one. Scary. <laughs> hey, could you excuse us for a sidebar? No problem. She's great, isn't she? She got that I'm a doctor, don't you think? Who knows? She's out of her gourd. She's afraid of earth, wind, and fire. You know, you don't get cases like this in Duluth very often. Oh, no. Usually you got a special order of them. I'm telling you, Christmas has come early for Louie. Gretchen, uh, you're in. Oh, really? Oh, God, thank you so much. I really needed this. Oh, gosh, you have no idea how much I needed this. Oh, I think I do. Paging Dr. Reinhardt. Oh. Paging Dr. Reinhardt. Well, I better go. Got a big surgery on the books. Been expecting a liver. Uh, guess the helicopter must have just landed. You know, you can't leave a liver sitting in the fridge too long. You know how sometimes people take your lunch? <laughs> Nice meeting you, Gretchen. Oh, hello. I'm telling you, this city is going to H-E-double-L. Some jerk with California plates, has a car and a U-Haul, double parked in front of a loading zone. Oh, God, that's me. I better move before I get a ticket. Too late, sister. Detective Sinsick, Duluth Police. I, uh, I already called traffic control, and you are busted. Are you kidding? I've been here for five minutes, and excuse me for asking, but doesn't a police detective in Duluth have anything better to do than ticket cars? Hey, 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 hey. Now, lawlessness may be very hip in 90201-ville, but around here, 
You don't cut the mustard. You better move that car, sister. It's no cheap ticket. Really? How much? Eight big ones. Eight hundred dollars? No. Eight dollars. <laughs> and if you don't pay, we send a letter. And it's none too friendly. I really love this town. Pink Fury. <laughs> what, are you taking nuts from out of town now? Kurt, what is it? Hmm? Twice in one day, am I a suspect or something? No, Lou. Well, there was something bothering me this morning. Quite frankly, I'm a little disappointed you didn't get it out of me. You know, I thought you were a little better at your job. <laughs> Don't you have to take seminars to brush up on your skills? I mean, I was hurting, Lou. Okay, Kurt, I'm listening. It's about Sandy and me. There's trouble in paradise, buddy. There is a drought in the Garden of Eden. Cupid flew over a duck blind. Pow! He's chock full of lead. Slow down. Slow down. Kurt, there's bumps in every marriage. I'll tell you what I'll do. Later on this afternoon, I'll clear my schedule, all right? Yeah. You and Sandy come in. We'll talk this thing out. Sure, we need to get Sandy involved. Now, Kurt, take a deep breath and tell me what it is that's making you feel anxious about this relationship. Nothing. <laughs> Okay, uh, Sandy, maybe you'd like to start. You've been married 14 years. Uh, must be something you want to get off your chest. Uh, not really. Hey, if nobody's gonna talk, I could go to the therapist lounge and play foosball. <laughs> Curtis. Okay. All right, all right, you want to know what's going on? Things have been weird, Lou. Everything's changing. Sandy, do you feel like everything's changing? Louie, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really comfortable talking. No, honey, this. honey, we, we've got to deal with this. Right, let, let me try and explain, okay? Lou, I'll give you a perfect example, okay? You know, the variety pack, right? Ten different cereals, all packaged in convenient single-serving box as well. I pick out seven and arrange my week accordingly, okay? Nothing unusual there. <laughs> so... Monday, I go to the cupboard, and I'm all psyched up because I've chosen just right. And that is no misnomer. It is just right. <laughs> but guess what? No, just right. He's good. <laughs> Not only that, but there's no new variety pack. I didn't buy it. <laughs> she didn't buy any for two weeks, Lou. Well, you know, Kurt... Why don't you go to the store? It's not like you need breasts to buy a variety pack. <laughs> but don't you see what that means? Don't you see what that symbolizes? Excuse me, I, I, I think I do want to say something. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, I guess all I knew was that I had to shake up my life somehow, and I had to start somewhere. I, I went to buy the variety pack, but I just couldn't do it. I picked it up, but a little voice inside me said... You're in a rut, Sandy. Voices, Lou, help us. So I, I put it back down, and it felt good. And then I went to another aisle, and I got fettuccine, not spaghetti. With, with the flat stuff? Yeah, and I bought scented instead of unscented. Scented what? Scented everything. And I didn't use coupons. Scented? No, don't stop her now. She's on a roll. I want to know what happens when she gets the produce. Yeah. I mean, why should I stop? I always stop. And it's not your fault, Kurt. It's mine. I'm sick of being a mouse, and I'm not eating any more cheese. <laughs> oh, boy, that feels good. <laughs> that feels fan-damn-tastic. You, you know what I want to do? You know what I really want to do? Something I've been wanting to do for 14 years. I want to go dancing. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm going dancing. <laughs> Thank you, Louie. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh, yes, you did. Don't wait up, copper. Rule number 12. If you eat potato chips at night, you must replace them the next morning by 7 a.m. You've already typed up a list. You don't have to recite it. Oh for a slicer. All right, here's my only rule. You can use any of my things whenever you want. Well, that's not how you play. I've just started with you. You need a lot of work. Oh. 
sunblock. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. You know, sometimes you wake up and you think it's going to be an ordinary day. You shower, you shave, you lay out your pajamas. You think you're going to go to bed in the same house you woke up in. <laughs> then you ask your best friend for a little advice, and before you know it, bing, bang, boom, you're separated from your wife. <laughs> on the bright side, I didn't know that I could fit everything I own into this duffel bag. Hey, Louie, my room is great, but you know how the license plates say Minnesota land of 10,000 lakes? Do you think they counted the one in my room? Hello. Our room? That's your new roommate? Yes. What's he doing here, Louie? Giving you a ticket? Oh, I should give him a ticket. There's got to be a law against importing Californians into the U.S. <laughs> I don't have to take this. Yes, you do. Kurt's moving in with us for a while. His wife kicked him out of the house. Well, I'm sorry. I'm paying rent here, and he's got bad energy. And I moved here to get away from bad energy. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> I say you're both going to stay. That's right, you're both going to stay, and you're going to get along. Now you, go on up to your room and uh, bail it out. <laughs> and you start dinner. I'm hungry. I feel like something a little chickeny. Hey, guys. Hi, Gretchen. Uh, it took me a while, but I finally found your half-calf mocha latte with non-fat milk. I, I also got your watch. <laughs> oh, oh, man. No. Oh, no. Unbelievable. Hey, how come the fridge still works? Backup generator. <laughs> 